What's up folks, this is Vagrant and we are back playing the movies. In the last video we finally got ourselves our custom script office. We've got a few churning out there and we're working now on Unalive. This is our very first custom film. We're going to shoot it. And just quickly... Oh, Peter said he's unhappy with his image already, but I just gave him a makeover. He's fine with it, what are you on about? He's fine with it, shut up. We might need to nip into the finance a little bit, but we're about to shoot Unalive, our very first custom script. Very cool. Um, and we're going to write another one very soon as well, because we need a we need a good sci-fi film ready for this right here. Actually, tell you what, Lottie, my love, we want to practice your sci-fi in the meantime. There you go. She's a little stressed, Lottie. She's a little stressed. Let's see if we can do anything. Did we unlock anything new? Right, we've got every one of those. Got all that stuff. What is this new? Uh, any new furniture? Yeah, yeah, what's this? What is that? It's like a deck chair. There we go. Why not? Oh god, right. We just got four backdrops, nine props, six costumes. We just got the War Battlefield set. I don't believe that gave us a new... Um... Hmm. Oh, what's it? Oh, Lionhead Fountain. Uh, that's only little. Oh, it's tiny! I thought it was going to be huge. Blech. Why is this one bigger? It's cheaper. Oh, whatever. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so, yes, we're currently shooting our lovely Unalive. We've got one. Oh, ready for casting. Oh, I'm perfect this way. That's all. Romance. <sighs> they can't write comedy to save their lives, these people, I tell you. Do you guys get stressed? I don't think so. Right, we're going to write our own script. We're going to write our own sci-fi film. Let's go. This is going to be our masterpiece, you see, our masterpiece. We're going to go for a detailed structure as well. So, we're going sci-fi. Leading roles, Peter's my lead, as always. We've got three supporting, we've got three people in, like, three actors involved this time. Tid Cooney, Whistler, what a great name for a main character. What do we want to call our sci-fi film? War on the Sun, no, no. We need one that we can maybe do, <laughs> realistically. The Hammer of Time, yes, I love it. Right, so what happens in the Hammer of Time? That is the question. Okay. We'll start off in... We should start off on the bridge, right? And they go back in time because of the hammer. You see. So. so ooh, I, like, I, like, I like some of these. Uh, not scream spin. That's not, that's not how we're going to start. Walk, talk, listen. Okay, we can do that. Walk, talk, listen. Kick things off. You know, it's just a normal day on the bridge, just chilling out on the ship. Nothing's going on. They're just going to keep talking. Let's, let's stay there for a little bit longer. They, they go and they meet the third person. They meet, I can't remember her name, but they're walking along and they meet her. They run into it. They're going to have a little chat. Those two are walking along, they meet her, and then suddenly, bajonk a jonk things happen. Uh, what happens? Alien chase. Maybe. Let's have a look. It only involves him. I kind of want everyone to be involved. That's my my main problem. We have the lighting. Oh my god, I can do so much. Oh my god, I can make it nighttime. That's even better. Yes, please. See what I mean? The detail we can do is insane. Look at this. Oh, the lights go out right when there's the alien attack. So they're talking, then suddenly, bam, gets attacked by an alien. And then. Something has to like explode or something. It's a shame we don't have the bloody the um the pack. Hmm. Oh wait, this is I didn't realise this. Suggested. Hmm. 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 And then he wakes up later after the attack. Come on, let's go forward here. Come on. Okay, so he gets attacked by the right. They're all just hanging around. There's suddenly alien attack. Work! And he wakes up and it's daytime again, right? So the night's gone. And then survey. So he, he they leave and they end up in a Wild West bank. He's gone back in time. He's very confused. So he enters in horror. 
what's going on here? Like, he runs into his pal, they run into each other again. And they're both like, what's going on? This is craziness. A little bit more surveying, I think. A little bit more surveying. Um, these old exit enters. And they get arrested. I like that. Because they, you know, they look weird. They don't, they don't fit in. This ain't your town, son. Okay, never mind that that's Tid doing the arrest. That makes no sense at all. Well, no, we can't do that. That's silly. It's important that we get this right. It's going to be a masterpiece. Okay. Walk, talk, listen. They're like, they enter a bit thing and then they're like, oh, oh, what do you think's going on here? I don't know. Let's play it cool. You yeah, know, let's play it cool. Sliders, crane. Oh my god, look at this. This is crazy. Scared. You can change the act. It's crazy what you can do. It's actually mad. <laughs> it's actually insane. It really is. Anyways, and then there's a fight. Okay, what's the fight? Again, we're going to stay in the bank. And... Someone brandishes a blade. A lunatic brandishes a blade. Don't know why it's him, but it is. Then there's a pursuit. And they run out and they run into the desert. That makes sense. Uh... So they've been chased out. Is there a way to get them to run? I know you can change costumes and stuff and I'm not and it looks weird because of it, but <laughs> that's not the point. Um, vampire trance. That sounds amazing. Oh my god, zombies. <gasps> zombies! Yes. Love it. Okay, and they end up in the saloon. I don't know why there's zombies, but there are. And it's not over yet, they're fighting! Because the spooked about the zombies, and then poof, the hammer of time... Like, comes back together and he once again regains consciousness on the ship, you see. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's literally the greatest thing that anyone's ever done in their life. I've peaked. I've officially peaked. Now you're just stressed, Lottie. Lottie, come here. We'll play some hoops. I do want to go to the bar. There you go. The Hammer of Time. Now the problem is these do take a long time to film. <laughs> There's many, many scenes. So I don't really have much going on right now because all my actors are involved in these films, but whatever, that's fine. It's okay. It's up over here. Look at that backdrop, that's beautiful. I'm very excited to see these films. I really want to get to modern age a little bit more. Um, but we're going to film it, and we're not going to release it until this one hits. And then we need to look out for this one. What's that? Comedy. Again, well, we can't make a bloody comedy because my bloody script is a bloody useless. We'll try again, though. <laughs> oh, action. Oh, I should have been paying attention to that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll probably drop this. We don't need this. Make a little bit of cashola. Not that helpful, if we're honest, but... A little bit of cashola, never hurt anyone. Although it is the source of all evil, but whatever. Oopsie daisy. How are we doing? Let's have a look on map. It's looking good, right? And we should be on... God, File Flamingo is kicking ass and taking names. How are we doing here? God, we're only on scene two. It's going to take ages. Right, let's speed up time. Nothing's happening. Shum, 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 shum. I'm going to hire another... Oh my god, right. We're going to hire another janitor. Are you all rubbish? I think so. Yeah. Stevie, you're going to be a builder. Let's get a janitor and a builder in here. We've got cash, right? We should be... Actually, we're going to get two plant janitors. I think. No! No! I want my two stars. Get back to work! Now, you're gonna make a... another sci-fi. Unfortunately, Peter is not having a good time. He's a little bit stressed out right now. I'm gonna give him a break after this. I feel bad for the lad. They're all a little bit more stressed than I'd like, though. Even she, she's been able to chill for a while. She's still pretty stressed. Want some food, love? It's a wrap. I think we're nearly done. One more scene to go. 
See, as soon as I put them on that, they're, they're fine. They knock it out of the park. Maybe the world just isn't ready for their brand of comedy. Okay, we're into the time of sci-fi. We need to get our sci-fi out before there. I think. There we go, unalive, ready for release. My masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen, my masterpiece. You, my friend, could do with a drink. So could you. You go to normal bar, you're not special enough. You go play some hoops. That feels racist, but it's not meant to. <laughs> okay, there we go. I want everyone to just chill out a little bit, right? I'm gonna go release my film. I want everyone to be in a good mood, ready to shoot our, our sci-fi film that's gonna change the world. Here we go, Unalive. My beautiful custom film, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. Okay. What? Oh, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, poor though. Oh god, that's terrible. I expected so much more. But we get to see our film. This one's the one that makes no sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> On a live exclamation point. Bojangles blog on. Here we go. They're just talking, chilling, doing their thing. She's not convinced. Suddenly... Still just talking. Kind of waving around for some reason in a wild west desert, as you do. <clears throat> hmm. What is it he's talking about, I wonder? Hmm. And an alien attack! <laughs> This film is nonsensical. <laughs> the aliens look great, though. This is the surprise attack in the cellar. It's just it's, it's it's seeing this woman. Oh my god, this is this is a little bit, a little bit iffy, isn't? It? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> no, this isn't okay. Yeah, I I like it. What the film is, is a look into her deteriorating psychosis. Love it. Perfect. If you don't give me a goddamn good comedy, heads are gonna roll, I tell you. Right, there we go. People are looking a little bit better. He's getting hammered. He's having a good time. Yeah, she's getting hammered, she's having a good time. Basically, they're all getting hammered and therefore enjoying themselves. I can. I'm, I might just be able to carry my way through just by virtue of being loaded, to be honest. I really want to get this film shooting, though. But I want everyone in a good mood first. I'll tell you what, let's, let's try to get everyone a little bit happier. Let's give them some cash. That'll solve everything, right? Took some money at the bottom. Like that, based on their rank. There we go. Uh, look how happy everyone is. Cost me a freaking fortune, but I want everyone to be in a really good mood, ready to shoot this film. Everyone is looking good. The hammer of time. Look at that beautiful. I got many ten extras. What? Oh no, I've made a mistake. I don't know if I can hire ten extras. I can hire one. 
How am I ever going to do this film? <laughs> um, I can't. I can't do it. There's too many extras. That's insane. Right. I need to edit. Them. Come here. I think it's because of the. Okay. Let's let's take it back in. Let's 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 edit this a little bit. That's fine. It's the it's the zombie scene, isn't it? The zombie scene. Yeah. Too many extras in the zombie scene. Okay. Uh, so this is... Uh, I can't remember what happened. What happened before that? Right, they walked... They, they got shoved back in time. They walked through. Someone brandished a blade. They ran out into the desert. So let's get them just to run. Okay, someone got stabbed. Let's go with that. There we go. Happy time for all. Let's try that again. There we go. No extras necessary. Get out! Good stuff. Director needed. Oh, uh... Lottie. Lottie's my girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will probably stop doing this as much now because it means we can't really churn out the films per se. Which isn't always a bad thing, but it also means that because we, we can't churn out the films that... Um... Tell you what, you should be making a sci-fi. The problem with it is... Um, my stars just aren't getting the same levels of experience that they should be, so... Yeah. Image? What? Oh, it's fine. Do I need another janitor? Should we get another janitor? Oh, hello. This pack unlocks. The laboratory unlocks the latest advancement in movie making technology. New facilities for your lot, the latest costumes, and both mainstream and cult movie sets. Rehab allows drunkards and overeating lard buckets to conquer. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, cool. So, right, let's, let's pause it for a sec. We just got a bunch of new stuff. Do you want a trailer? Don't know. Oh right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they all want a trailer. Oh, look at more trailer. That's fine. I've got the cash. Not a problem. All right, we're on a lab. This is going. We're gonna. We're gonna develop new technologies in this laboratory. So we want this kind of like off to the side, right? Because that's where the creepy labs always go. We're gonna kind of develop this whole area on the left a little bit more. So put the lab there. What else can we get? Rehab. Put rehab over here. Us. Maybe put rehab next to the bar. <laughs> like, just in case. Nicely, we'll put it in the corner over here. So they, they can hide away from prying eyes, as it were. Let me just uh, put the path down for this. There we go. And nip over here, do the same for the lab. Lab. What's this? Hmm, oh dear. Uh, where do I want this to go? Probably up here, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to kill those bushes, but that's okay. Killed many a bush in my time. Don't ask questions. Um, right. Let's get this. Okay. <clears throat> and we said we got some new decorations, maybe? Yes. Hedge with stone. Love a bit of hedge with stone. Look at that. It's beautiful. Get two hedge with stone. It's just kind of madman I am. What can I say? Anything else? Yeah, look at this big... No, it's not that big, actually. I thought it was going to be huge. I'm a little disappointed right now. I was expecting greatness. A little bit disappointed. Got a new cactus type as well. There you go. Beautiful. Right, makes no sense whatsoever. Did we get any new decorations? We did. We got a new car. Don't know what the cars are about. We've got some flags for those there. Anything else? Nope, that's it for that. New furniture, maybe? Nope. Okay. Uh, we also got some rickety trailers. So, I think we're going to give everyone a trailer. We're just going to put five of them down now. I don't really want them over here by the script section. The rehab and the bar goes over here. Where would the trailers go? I'm going to think about this logically. Oh, put them over here. Do like a little trailer section. Can you not just make me let me put down multiple at once? That would be nice. I'd appreciate that. Man, <laughs> you're making me do so much. It's very upsetting. It's not like we're lacking for cash, is it? Although I have just spent... It's, I've just spent a small... Just spent, if I learn to speak English, a small fortune, admittedly, so... We'll, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye on that a little bit, I think. There we go. And let's beautify that a little bit. Lovely stuff. along there. 
because of the bloody uh, lamppost. Thicken that up, and let's put in as well a little food truck and a restroom, just to keep keep the lads and lasses happy, you know? Uh, food truck, food truck, food truck. Begins with... It's called Snack Fun, that's why I'm confused. There we go. Okay, and just before I finish, just a couple of deco... Oh, what's this? Stop showing me the trailer. I'm done with the bloody trailers. Alright, we need some deco around here. Just to make it look nice. Uh, I do quite like these. Let's just get some... I don't really like the bushes that much. This is important stuff. I'm trying to give them like a little bit of privacy, you know? Make make them feel like it is... You know, it's kind of like Hollywood, right? It's all fancy and showy and that's what they want. They are stars, you know? They should feel special. There we go. I think we're done. Done? Done. Bum 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 Yeah, I just spent a lot of money. Right, the rehearsed the hammer of time is ready to shoot, let's go. Ah, oh, the vile flamingo. 153, not bad. Definitely one of my big hitters. Let's get that archived. What are you guys writing? What's this? Urban Troll. That sounds amazing. Okay. We good? Why can't I zoom out? I feel like I'm really zoomed in for some reason. Urban Trolls, not bad. Where do you think you guys are going, eh? Need them to nail a comedy. Comedy's about to get a boost right here. Because people, you know, there's a stock market issue, right? And people want to feel they want to feel happy and alive and excited for the first time in bloody ages. Do we get any new sets? Yeah, War Battlefield. Very cool. I suddenly just built like 10 trillion things. My All my lovely money funds have started to fade. I did. Oh, what the hell? What did just happen? Weird. Um. Okay. And didn't we get something else? Where's my lab? Oh, I made a lab. Right, so I've got my lab. Oh, the lab's not been built yet, that's why. Right, so we need to hire, like, scientists, I think. Can we get some more builders? Yeah, screw it. Get them all in. Get them all in there. Why not? Jen, what are you doing, love? She's the only one who's not working. She's bored out of her tiny mind. <laughs> oh, let's get a practicing comedy. Because we're going to do a comedy fairly soon, so we should get her ready. Cut. That makes sense. What are we working on? Right, all the trailers are there. Ah, uh, some of them. Working on that big boy. Uh, let's get some more decorations in. I don't know. stuff. I'm just going to stick things in and hope for the best. Just like sex. Uh, lamp posts, of course. Always need a lamp post. Random ass fountain. Why not? Nah. Car? Car. There we go. I just want to prettify a little bit, you know? These trees are massive. They do a really good job of like breaking up the Slight boredom of the place. If you put them everywhere, it seems more like a theme rather than just randoms. I mean, it may be random, but it seems less like it if you put them absolutely everywhere. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Place someone next to a research pack to recreate a scientist and begin research. Hover over each room to see what's available to research. Okay. So mainstream packs, intermediate Wild West, and stars in studio, which gets 1930s costumes. Do we get one on each? There you go. It's 
<laughs> Research packs invisible on the timeline. You can see when you'll acquire them. Where are they then? Over here? Yeah, that's the Intermediate Wild West. And that's not start type something else. That's the Nightingale. So that's where we're going to get them, basically. Hey, they did it! They did a one star bloody comedy finally! I'm so proud of you guys. So proud. Back to work. <laughs> uh, let's do our. It's been a while since we've done Romans. Oh! Tid is not loving life at the moment. He's a little stressed. You're right, Tid. How long have we got to go? Oh, God, three, seven more scenes left. Seven more. This film is an absolute monster. It's, it's ten scenes long. What have I done? This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Absolutely terrible idea. It really is. Dreadful. What's this? What are we going to get? The Hammer of Time ready for release, yeah. It's on the way. It's on the way. Snackula. Typical romance title. I think you'll all agree. I really wish I could do this automatically. We will get better script writing offices and stuff down the line, so that will be important, I think, for everyone. They don't seem to be getting that much better. Although Christian is kind of kicking ass, I must say. Although I have a housemate called Christian, so if he hears that, I'll be very confused. How are we doing? That's uh, fair. But two films ready for lease. May I have your attention, please? A new pack is available for research in the lab. Oh. oh god, what? Ah. Is it? Are you sure? Action. Ah yes, look, movie making, what's that? Start attack. Oh right, oh wait, 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 wait. What is start attack? Let's have a look. So we can get it two years ahead of time. I think Star Attack might be what pushes us over to um, to um, color films. So I think we're actually going to pull everyone into that. Come on, everyone in. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, basic horror pack as well. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Tid. I'm going to just take you out for a sec. You're going to go get hammered, okay? Just for a minute, you need to relax. I know it's kind of slowing the film down. I don't think we've got much of a um, solution, really. Tid's going to go bloody mental otherwise. <laughs> Typical actors, eh? Typical bloody actors. Oh, what? You're a screenwriter. Please tell me you didn't just lose all your screenwriting experience. No, thank God for that. That would have been a disaster. What's going on here? Tid Cooney's getting hammered? That's fine, I told him to get hammered. I seemed him to chill a little bit. Alright, back to work, son. How many scenes left on this? Okay, four more scenes. We're not doing this anymore. This is clearly a terrible idea. We're getting, we're getting this film done, and then we're never doing this again. <laughs> not until later on, at least. It is a huge mistake. Humongous. We're just not churning out films anymore. We're making no money. I'm a money business, first of all, you know. Ugh. Scientists are plugging away. Look at that. They're way ahead of the timeline for Star Trek. Chugging away. Doing science and such. Ba-ba-dum. 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 Comedy and romance are both going to go up. Okay. Well, we've kind of neglected romance, it seems. Tid, Tid, you're getting drunk now? What? Do you want to tell you what? Let's all have a break then. Peter is stressed to balls, basically. Yeah, I'm falling apart a little here. <laughs> this film is going to be the death of me. US industry sources today urge consumers to spend more money to lift the nation out of its current economic slump. Consumer groups later hit back by saying that US industry first needs to make some products for consumers to buy. Maybe I should stop just making them get wasted. <laughs> like, as a solution, you know? 
I'm sure there's other things we can do, right? But yeah, go back to work. Okay. Let's just get this goddamn film done. It better be good. I swear to God. It better be good. Very excited about Start Attack back though. I just we're gonna just carry on until we get that. I think we've only got one scene left in this bloody film. And there's the award ceremony right there. So I'm hoping we're not gonna get two stars. There's no chance. Absolutely no chance. And my studio has actually dropped in its stars, unfortunately, because we don't have a billion dollars anymore, basically. Nearly done, lads. Nearly done. You can all have a nice break after this, okay? There we go. So, we just got the Intermediate Script Office. Very cool, so that's going to up the quality of all our scripts. Post-production is where you can edit your movie masterpieces, add subtitles, soundtrack, voices and sound effects to colour film, baby, and synchronise sound. Okay, we've got dialogue in our films. Awesome stuff. Uh, right. So, yeah, we need to kill this. How do I kill buildings? Oh, post-production, very cool. Where's my... Yeah, we want to replace that building with this building. How do I kill a building? I have no idea. Eh. Meh. Tell you what, let's just put the intermediate one down and we'll go from there. Oh, my money. My beautiful money. And I'm about to buy post-production as well. Oh, my beautiful money. Oh, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Stop saying Jesus wept. <laughs> right. Um, can we connect that over? Yeah. Will that squeeze in there? Hopefully. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll find out how to get rid of buildings. I'm sure. Anything else new? Nope, I think we own every building in the game. We do indeed. Right, that's going to do really good stuff. Now, before we carry on, what we also need is our scientists to get onto their next project. Which at the moment is basic tech. That's going to be a while away, so I think we want to get... Let's get some horror on the go, and some 1930s costumes as well. Okay. Is it nearly ready? Is it nearly ready? It's so nearly ready. We're nearly free of this burden that I brought upon us. I just want to see the film and then we'll end it. Although I'm quite excited to see some colour as well in our films. That's going to be next episode. We're finally going to get colour. We're going to get a bit of sound. We've got a post-production office that's going to do some cool stuff when it's finished. And how do I kill you, my friend? I just move these scripts out of the way. Hmm... There just there isn't like a destruction tool, right? You kind of have to like pick things up and then. I have no idea, no idea how you kill a building. Absolutely no idea. It's very confusing. Am I missing a button somewhere? Do I just have to keep this crappy office for the rest of the game? That would seem weird to me. Alright, let's speed up time. Oh god, the film better be ready in time. No! No! It's gonna be too late! It's gonna be too late for Hammer of Time! No! No! My masterpiece! My masterpiece! Boo! Let's just assume we didn't win. Oh, look at that, we didn't win. That's f- that Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Most ceremony. prestigious studio lot. Not bad. Not bad. Allows your stars to eat and drink without fear of addiction. That's pretty cool. Uh, we know any of this, but one day. Oh. Bonus from in Age of Discovery. Scientists research faster. Oh, very cool. That's so close. I just want to see my film. I just want to see my film. I just, I just want to see my film. God, I've got no films going at the moment. They're all archived. This is this is why we're not making cash anymore. We're finally ready. There we go. Hammer of time. Go. 
Nice. Very good, Lottie. Ah, bit weak, everyone else. Look, this, hey, this could be our first above one star. It could be one and a bit. Oh, one and a half! Hey, technology was that. I wonder if the technology was brought in mid-film. That'll be interesting. Let's watch it and find out. So I should have found my phone. Oh, a little colour there. I made it night time, you can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> the alien attack. Very spooky. He's dead. He wakes up post alien attack. He's been unconscious, he's a little bit dazed, you know? Some stuff's just gone down, he just got attacked by aliens, you know? It's a spooky time for everyone involved. I wonder how much just the red colour would have been amazing back in the day. Wakes up on the ship. What's gone on? We've gone back into the hammer of time has activated. So they get off the ship. They enter the saloon. They 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 land and they enter the nearby building. It's a saloon. It's spooky, as you can see. Very spooky. What's this? Don't know how we just changed his clothes on people, but that's fine. Now they're just talking about it. You know what are we gonna do, lad? What are we gonna do with this spooky situation? And then my pops out with a knife. You're not meant to be here. Dude gets stabbed. Jumps around weirdly, there's a little surprise attack. They've turned on each other, you know, the, the stress of the situation. Oh! 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 Damn! The stress of the situation has turned them against each other. Um. Oh, he's not dead. <gasps> oh, Tip's got him. Damn. And then he awakes once more upon the ship, dazed and confused as the hammer of time puts together the timeline once more. You see, it all makes sense. It's very hard to see with this dual colour stuff, so we need to get our, our next level tech on the go so we can get proper colour. Or at least slightly better colour than this. Plus technology gave us like a really good boost, so it seems like quite an important thing to research. There we go, Hammer of Time, ladies and gentlemen. Masterpiece, I think you'll all agree. People must love this, right? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Two people ate it, but that's not that bad. Tid is loving work. He's a little bit stressed. I'm gonna let them chill for a little bit, kind of let everyone get a little time to relax, and now it's time to stop pumping out the films again. So, this is our new script writing office. So, yeah, like I say, it should just make everyone a little bit better, basically. So we grab our people again. And we put them on, well, what's the big genre at the moment? Sci-fi and comedy. So, let's try for a slightly better comedy if we can. And, uh, yeah, so what's coming up next? We have 1930s costumes that we're researching right now. And Intermediate Wild West. And, uh, no, Basic Horror and Wild West are the ones that we're researching, and the 1930s are just going to unlock in general. We'll put everyone onto those. Oh no, the research becomes available on the 10th of July 1930, and it becomes available to everyone on 1934, so you kind of want to stay ahead of the curve a little bit, right? Basically. Um, okay. Right, yes, so... Next video, we'll keep up our research. We're going to pump out the scientists. We're going to try to pump out the films a little bit more. We've dilly-dallied. We've done our custom script writing and stuff. And now it's time to start making some cash again. Because we've really dropped in the money. Uh, this little monster should make us a fortune. It's on 57000 already. That will probably be our first movie to break the 200000 mark. And, uh, yeah, looking good. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, myself as always. Bye-bye.